you want to think about the five elements more like a ruling of a system rather than the organ itself. So with the wood element, it rules the liver gallbladder energy. Those are right here, but it's not so literal as exactly these. You want to imagine it more as an energetic branching out. So the wood relations are, uh, they rule the side of the body. So any issues on the side of the body, that can include migraines, temporal headaches, um, pain and what we call the flanks, which personally reminds me of a piece of beef hanging from a meat locker. The energy goes up to the eyes, so eye issues. Think about high blood pressure and rising energy. That's too much wood energy. And what do they always complain of? Like their eyes are being popped out from behind. It rules the vertex of a head, very common headache with high blood pressure. Um, liver also rules the flow of energy in the body called chi. So anytime someone feels tight, maybe their chest is tight, they're not breathing properly, it means the liver is not moving the chi properly. The liver rules the gynecological region. It rules menstruation. It rules the smooth flow of menstruation for a woman. So believe it or not, ladies, okay, men, turn this off, earmuffs, don't listen, don't listen. You're not supposed to have PMS. Not that it's bad, but it means that your wood energy is out of balance. It means it's not feeding it with a nice smooth flow of energy. And so what you get is this tightening, like I talked about, uh, a tightening of the energy, cramping, uh, clots, this kind of thing. More areas of wood element rules are the fingernails, the tendons, the sinews. Uh, someone who has an excess of wood, they're the ones that are in yoga like this. Oh yeah, just do downward dog and they can't go any further than that. Everything hurts. There is a color relation. Can anyone guess what that color is? Green. So sometimes you'll see a person or a patient wearing green every single time. Or you can diagnose by their face. I call it the green goatee. You can see a bunch of green around here or around the eyes. A wood or liver imbalanced person is going to smell sour or rancid. Think of the old BO guys at the gym. Those guys. The sound for the wood element is shouting. Someone who just can't control the volume of their voice. In our culture, shouting is not so much socially acceptable, we'll say. So what it turns into is this passive-aggressive kind of seethe, right? Everyone's favorite personality, passive-aggressive. Oh, that's interesting. Why would you do something like that? I would never do something like that. If you have the deficient side wood element, you're going to have the exact opposite. So you're going to have the opposite of shouting, which is going to sound and you have your more low self-esteem person. So if you are angry, which is the emotion of wood, where the energy should be coming up and out, think about a temper, right? Someone's face going red and you're running for the hills once you see that. Not that that's necessarily healthy to always be angry, but it's healthy to express it. When you do a passive aggressive seethe, you're taking that wood energy and you're pushing it right back inside. And what does that do? It causes constriction. And where does it cause constriction and problems? All the areas I described that it goes to. Wood element also, like all the elements, has a body type. And I want you to think of someone strong and sinewy, almost like an athlete, uh, but walking with a lot of purpose and a lot of direction. Wood person really has a lot of sound to when they move. I'm gonna use this tree as an example of what I'm talking about. So how life should work is if adversity comes up, which happens nonstop, it's just plain old a part of life, let's consider adversity like the wind. So if the wind is happening, our little wood here goes, it flexes like we talked about, and it doesn't care, it's not complaining, it's just flexing because it's made that way. And when the wind stops back, it goes and it keeps on growing upwards. For an excessive wood person, they will resist that wind. They will resist whatever adversity might be coming their way. So if there's a strong wind and the wood is too strong, it's going to go, oh, forget it, I'm not going to bend in adversity. And what's going to happen eventually? It's going to snap. Think about a massive temper flaring up of energy. That's the snapping of excessive wood energy. If you have the opposite and you have the deficient kind of wood I talked about, when the wind comes, it's going to go, ah, forget it, and it's just going to bend. All right, so that's the wood element, but how do you now balance a wood element personality? Maybe you yourself are thinking, woo, I am that excessive wood, I'm horrible. <laughs> well, what are you going to do about that? Or maybe you're a more low self-esteem person where you can't push strongly towards your goals and your dreams because your wood energy is so low in your body. So part of traditional Chinese medicine is, yes, I know we use herbs and acupuncture and diet. I'm going to be starting to choose some words to help rebalance their element. Uh, the word for wood is benevolence, which is the act of giving without wanting to receive, basically. Also, you can use the word grace or creativity with a wood person. A wood person needs to be creative. 
they need to be working, going up and out and going towards goals and visions. If you are a very wood person and you don't have any goals or visions, you may become very depressed or you may have issues in any of the areas that I mentioned. Now let's move on to the next element to see if you know any of those people or maybe it's you. Hint, it's me. And we're going to go stoke up the fire and have a look at that. 